God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I wanted to share with you guys what the Lord has shared with me. Um, just as the the woman at the well that Jesus saw, who was one, who she she had um, five husbands, and she was one with these men, or or how um, had, uh, um, Abraham went into Hagar. And um, she became his wife, and you're one with the harlot, and all these things. When you when you um, have sex with someone, um, and there are multiple people, whatever the case may be, because Abraham had Sarah, and he also had Hagar. Um, anyway, um, when you see all this, and you ask yourself, "Is this one? How can somebody be one like this?" It's the same way of multiplication when it's five times one, okay? Still five people, but you're one with them. It's five times one, you know what I mean? And 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 you're joined with them, okay? So um anything times one is how the Lord put it with me to me. Anything times one with what you multiply yourselves with, you know what I'm saying? Or what that you unite yourselves with, right? It that's the other number. You know what I mean? And um and so when you're aligning yourself, you need to understand that you're aligning yourself and and becoming one with, with something. And um also this can this can multiply. This doesn't have anything to do with a, a wife or a husband. This just has to do with what you join yourself to. Okay. Anyway, God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say that because Paul clearly showed us um in First Corinthians chapter six, that you become one with a harlot when you go into a harlot. Okay, and um, we already got other scriptures to prove that. So let's get a better understanding of this oneness because um, being one with somebody, um, you can become one with multiple people. Okay, did God design it to be that way? No, but I'm just here to clarify. God bless you.